Hi, I'm Susan Eggers and I teach history and geography classes with Excelsior classes. And today I would like to talk to you about how to choose a great topic for your history research paper. But before I begin, uh, I would like to remind you to follow your teacher's instructions. Every teacher will have his or her own guidelines about the length of the paper, about the number of sources that you should use, about the topics that are acceptable for the paper, about how to cite your sources, uh, many things that your teacher will tell you about the paper. So make sure that you pay attention to those. However, there are some general tips that I would like to share with you about choosing your paper topic. First of all, choose a topic that you will enjoy. Now, some of you may be thinking to yourselves, Ugh, how can I possibly find a history topic that I will enjoy? And I say to you, one of the very best things about studying history is that everything has a history. So think about what subjects you enjoy. Um, think about your hobbies and then think about the history of those subjects or those hobbies. Um, for example, if you like uh, battles and military strategy, maybe you enjoy playing video games that are based on military strategy, you could choose a topic that would allow you to study a particular battle or the causes of a certain war, a military technology. Those might be topics that you would enjoy. If, on the other hand, your interests are more literary, then you could think about a literature topic. For example, you might research um, what ancient Greek mythology tells us about ancient Greek culture and history and, and life. Uh, you may want to look at um, how the Soviet government used literature uh, books and newspapers and things like that um, as forms of propaganda. Uh, let's say that you're more into science. Okay, think about science and the history of science. You could look at uh, the developments that occurred during the scientific revolution, or you might look at how the plague um, influenced um, and affected society in medieval Europe. Um, if you like music, you could write about the founding of a conservatory, or you could look at how an opera changed over time. And those were actually my two research topics when I was in graduate school. So lots of different choices. As a teacher, I have had students research topics on such wide-ranging subjects as women's fashion, the ancient Olympics, Japanese samurai culture, Jack the Ripper. That was an interesting one. Uh, the historical context of Baroque music, the fall of the Roman Empire. There are so many choices. So again, think about what your teacher has told you about choosing your topic, but then think about something that you would enjoy. All right, point number two, choose a topic that is feasible. When you first think about your topic, it will probably be general and broad, and, and that's fine. But you will need to take into consideration those guidelines that your teacher has given you about the length of your paper. If you're writing a six-page paper, you can't cover everything about World War II, right? See, this is what happens. When your topic is too broad, you would have to write volume after volume after volume, right? And, and you don't want to do that. So uh, think about um, how you can narrow down that topic. Maybe you'll look at the causes that led to World War II, or maybe you'll study the Normandy invasion, just something more specific. So narrow down that topic. And another factor to consider is whether you'll be able to find sources for your topic. So you will have to do some preliminary digging around uh, to see what sources are available um, that you can get your hands on to study. Um, now that you have an idea about a topic, 
that sounds like a lot of fun, um, and you've done some of that preliminary searching for sources and you think it's feasible, there are still some things that you need to think about as you begin the process of research and writing. Now here's an important bit of information. History research papers are not narrative. I think a lot of students think, well, I'm just going to, to tell the story of the past and to write about what happened in the past. Um, but that's missing the point of a history research paper. Now, of course, your paper will include some narrative, but that should not be the driving force of your paper. Also, just because your topic has to do with the past doesn't mean that it's a good topic for historical research. People who write literature papers and science papers will often deal with the historical context, right? They'll include background information from the past, but that doesn't make it a history paper. A history paper is a little bit different. The way that you approach the subject and the questions that you ask will be different, which brings me to point number three. Choose a topic that allows you to develop a strong historical question. The point of the history research paper is for you to examine the past and then to develop and express your interpretation. And to do that, you'll need to develop a strong historical question. So I plan on expanding that in future videos, but just to get you started thinking, here are a couple of characteristics of strong historical questions. First, a strong historical question is analytical. If your question is, who led the French army during the Napoleonic Wars? then your answer will be Napoleon, which isn't exactly a research paper, right? All right, so um, analytical questions. All right, number two, um, make sure that you ask an open-ended question. Another example, did the Inca Empire fall to the Spanish in the 16th century? And the answer is yes, which again is not a research paper. Your question needs to be more complex than this. And finally, your question should be argumentative, meaning it can legitimately be answered in multiple ways based on historical evidence. An argumentative question will allow you to express your opinion about your topic. So let's take a look at some historical questions that are a bit problematic and think about how they could become stronger. Number one, who was Nicholas II? Again, a who question is not a great question. Um, it's, it's just going to lead uh, to a narrative. You, you'll just end up telling the story. He was born here, and these are a few things that he did. You're just telling, it's, it's like a biography. You're just telling his story. Um, remember, you need to be able to express an opinion about what you're studying. So a stronger question might be, what weaknesses of Nicholas II led to the Russian Revolution? Okay, another question that's a little bit weak, what caused World War I? This one is a little bit more specific, but still it's going to lead more to a narrative. Are you just going to list all the causes? Here are all the causes, number one, number two, number three. What do you think about those causes? That's the key point. With a history research paper, you get to think, which can be good or can be bad, I guess, depending on your point of view. But think about all of those things, all of those causes that you're reading, and think about which one do you think uh, is the most significant, right? Um, so question number three, why was Leonardo da Vinci so awesome? See, I'm expressing an opinion. I, th I, th I think he was awesome. That's an opinion, right? However, can awesomeness be proven based on historical evidence? Not so much. So maybe a better question might be, how did Leonardo da Vinci influence Renaissance art? So as you begin your research, you may start off with these questions that are more general and that are broader and, and more narrative. But as you get into your research, you'll be able to think about questions and controversies that you come across when you're doing your research and questions will come to mind. Your topic will 
probably change as you go along and do your research, and that's okay. But think about framing that question so that it's analytical, open-ended, and argumentative. So now you are ready to choose your topic. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more videos. Uh, if you want to find out more about uh, my classes with Excelsior Classes and all of the great things going on there, you can visit excelsiorclasses.com. And thank you for watching.